Hey, what's up guys, Austin here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download OpenIV for GTA 5 and also make a mods folder. OpenIV is like a modding thing for Grand Theft Auto 5 where you can add cars to your game, sound like different sound mods to your game, a whole bunch of different stuff guys, alright? Um, so I'm going to show you guys in this video how to install that as well as make a mods folder. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, now and with your post notifications turned on. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, what you guys are going to want to do is click on the download now, OpenIV 4.1 right here. Uh, it's going to be the first link down below in the description, by the way, guys. All right. Click that. It's going to pop up a thing. It's going to say OVI setup.exe, or you can go to your uh, file explorer, go to downloads. It's going to be right there, so double click it. You're going to want to go to English, or if you're Russian, you can go to Russian too. Go to continue. You're going to want to go to I accept the terms of this agreement. You guys can read that if you guys want to, but I do not recommend you guys read it. All right. All right. After you guys accept the agreement, uh, you're going to, if there's a pathway already in here, guys, and where it says installation path, if there's already a pathway in there, then you're fine. Click on continue. Uh, it's going to say download size 24.4 megabytes. Do you want to continue? Click on yes. And it's installing. So I'll be right back to you guys, with you guys once it is done installing. Alright guys, installation of OpenIV has been completed successfully. So it should be on your desktop if you check that uh, the desktop shortcut thing. Uh, now we're going to create a mods folder. So you're going to want to go to your GTA 5 directory. In this case, mine's going to be this PC, D drive, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Right guys? So you're going to want to right click over at the buffer zone. You're going to want to go to new, go to folder, and you're going to want to type in MODS. I'm not going to do it because I already have a mods folder. No. So I am not going to do that. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and copy the update in time 64. You're going to want to click on copy. Do not click on cut because if you take this out of your directory, then it's going to be an issue. You're not going to be able to load up your game, all right, guys? So do not click on cut. Click on copy, not cut. So you're going to want to copy it. Then you want to go to your mods folder and right click and click on paste alright guys so after it is done uh, I already have mine in here because I already uh, put my game back up so um, after it's in there guys uh, go to open IV you're gonna wanna go to Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows it's gonna say Grand Theft Auto 5 location you're gonna wanna go to browse you're gonna wanna go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory again mine's gonna be the D drive GTA 5 and GTA 5 after that guys you're gonna wanna go to select folder and then it, it will say like successfully in say 5 to exe blah 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 open IV can work for this file after it says that click on continue it's going to say do not forget to back up your original file before editing click on continue it's going to say searching encryption key now guys keep this in mind uh, I do test out all the mods uh, and stuff like that before I put them on YouTube because I had someone comment on my video oh this is a virus they didn't even test it out I test out every single mod before I put it on YouTube right guys so just keep that in mind before you comment stuff like that alright let's click on no thanks you're gonna want to go to tools go to ASI manager and I'm just gonna uninstall my stuff just show you guys how to install it so click on ASI loader click on install right here you're gonna want to click on install on all three of these, alright guys? All three of them. And boom guys, that is how you install OpenIV and create a mods folder, alright? So yeah guys, I hope you guys do did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, download with your post notifications turned on, and I'll see you guys in my next video slash live stream. Peace out.